breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Amended charge. Why you can't rearrange me? Unam Dekanu tells federal government. Amended charge. Why you can't rearrange me? Unam Dekanu tells federal government. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. According to the IPOB leader, both the Court of Appeal Rules 2021 and the Court of Appeal Act 2004 did not make any provisions for stay of execution of a court of appeal judgment delivered in a criminal appeal. The detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Unam Dekano, has dismissed the amended seven-count terrorism charge the federal government preferred against him describing it as baseless and heel advised. Kanu, who is currently in custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, through his team of lawyers maintained that the amended charge was the same that was recently struck out by the Court of Appeal. He alleged that federal government surreptitiously and clandestinely amended the charge hours after the October 13 judgment of the court of appeal that discharged him of all allegations and ordered his release from detention. Vanguard had exclusively reported that the amended charge marked FHC ABJCR 38-3-2015, which was entered before the Federal High Court in Abuja, contained all allegations against the IPOB leader that were earlier sustained by the trial court. Specifically, federal government in the charge alleged that Kano is currently in custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, had as a member of an unlawful group in a broadcast that was received and heard across Nigeria, issued a, dead tr- a deadly threat that anyone who flouted the state atom order in the southeastern part of the country should ride his or her will. It told the court that as a result of the threat, banks, schools, markets, shopping malls, four stations to miss out in the eastern state of Nigeria have continued to shut down businesses with citizens and vehicular movement grounded. Federal government further alleged that the IPOB leader had on diverse dates between 2018 and 2021 made broadcasts that were received and heard in Nigeria. inciting members of the public to hunt and kill Nigerian security personnel and their family members, thereby committing an offence punishable under Section 1 to age of the Terrorism Prevention Amendment Act 2013.
It told the court that Kanu directed members of the IPOB to manufacture bombs, adding that the defendant had, between the month of March and April 2015, imported into Nigeria and kept in Ubus, Ubuli, Siuzo, in Ihiala local government area of Anambra State, within the jurisdiction of this honorable court, a radio transmitter known as Tram 50L, concealed in a container of used household items, which you declared as used household items, and you thereby committed an offence, contrary to Section 47.2A of Criminal Code Act, CAP, C45, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria, 2004. The embattled IPOB leader had previously pleaded not guilty to the charge, even as he was subsequently discharged by the appellate court. Both Kanu's legal team and federal government's loyal are expected to reappear before trial Justice Bintalun Yako on Monday. The parties are to argue on whether federal government could proceed to rearrange the IPOB leader on the amended charge, despite the court's of appeal judgment, as well as appeals on the subject matter that are currently pending before the Supreme Court. While confirming Vanguard's report, Kanu in a press statement that was signed by a senior member of his defense team, Mr. Ifianye Jiofo, decried that the federal government had yet to serve him with a copy of the seven counts and made a charge. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop out the